You know, since everybody is bailing out, right? Everybody is getting bailed out. It's like there's nobody being bailed out. Because as long as we bail out everybody, then it's fair. Like he said that, you know, in 2008, it wasn't fair because only certain companies got bailed out. But now that everybody is getting bailed out, well, then it's fair, which, of course, it's not fair. And first of all, how can every company get bailed out? If everybody is being bailed out, who is doing the bailing? Who is paying for the bailout? See, everybody still thinks it's free because the Fed is printing the money. That means it's more expensive than ever, but it is not fair. You know, this guy was trying to say that, you know, corporations shouldn't be held accountable for all their debt because after all, they had no idea that the coronavirus was going to happen. Of course, but they knew something could happen. If not the coronavirus, something. The fact that everybody was so levered up you can't just give them a pass because not every company was in this condition. Not every company would need a bailout if the federal government and the Federal Reserve wasn't there. There are some companies that were responsible. Granted, there probably weren't many, but a lot of that is because of the Fed. If it wasn't for the Fed holding interest rates so low, companies wouldn't have so much debt and individuals would have a lot more savings. So it would be a lot easier for companies who didn't have enough reserves to raise it in the private capital markets because people would have savings that they could use to loan to companies that needed the money or who were selling equity. They could do secondary offerings and the private sector would be uh, able to finance it. But because of the Fed and all the bailouts and the QE of the past, we don't have the money. The companies are loaded up with debt. And that's why we're all vulnerable. But we can't just say, well, it's OK. We'll just bail everybody out as if these bailouts don't have a cost, as if we're not creating a moral hazard, which we are. It's even bigger uh, than the moral hazard uh, from uh, 2008.